Another rough one for Severino. What did you think the issue was tonight? You know, again, more trouble there in the first inning where, um, you know, he's just that first inning just not as crisp as, you know, really with any of the pitches. I thought the Mets did a good job with his slider of being able to um, lay off it some, some pitches that sometimes are chases, and then they put some good swings on sliders as well. But, um, you know, this, you know, the last couple outings where I've, I feel like I've seen that sign where he's getting that life back on both his fastball and his slider, I didn't see that life as much today, even though we saw some late good velocity numbers just – getting that crispness back where you know from the side you really notice that slider that the shape on that slider um you know where that fastball kind of has that ride that pop at the end didn't seem like it really had that tonight necessarily um you know perhaps maybe a little bit over overthrowing the slider so he doesn't get the bite on it that he wants and and then you know they 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 made him pay with a couple of mistakes because of the facts that you just mentioned, is there even more cause for concern when it comes to him and his numbers over the past couple of? Well, I mean, we we got to help and and find and get to the bottom of it. Um, you know, physically, I think he's sound, um, but we gotta, you know, we gotta get this righted, and and that's that's on all of us because he's so important. He, obviously, he's so dynamic when he's right. When you say physically, you think he's sound. Have you checked with him and asked? Does everything feel okay? Is the arm? Oh yeah, we check all the time. We keep checking with him and. Um, you know, you know, monitor him between starts and everything, and uh, yeah, I think he, I think he's okay. And we've seen enough flashes that he looks like Sevy, but just um, you know, a, a little bit of the flatness that other teams have taken advantage of with with some slug. Mark, Aaron, when you watch their reactions, like you mentioned with the slider, even the fastball, like some pretty easy takes. I mean, do, do you start talking about maybe giving this guy? Uh, extra time between starts or skipping a turn just to sort of get back on track, regardless of how he's feeling physically. Right. Well, I mean, we, uh, you know, we did that a little bit around the break. You know, obviously he threw an inning in the in the All Star game, but you know, with that and you know, there was I don't know what it ended up being, probably a uh, about a ten twelve day break. Um, so, I mean, those are things we we talk about, we consider. Um, you know, it's also, you know, is, is it best to just kind of power through? Because, again, we have seen the signs um, that, you know, he's shown enough to where it looks like he's, he's close to being savvy. It's just, um, you know, right now just too many mistakes. Andy. Yeah, just piggybacking on that. When, when a guy doesn't have that life or the crispness, and I mm -hmm. would seem to suggest a little bit of fatigue, if not anything physical. It's so as you weigh pushing through that versus yeah. maybe backing off how, how do you, do you just yeah watch i mean those are all or? you know conversations um you know that, that that we all have you know from training staff to strength and conditioning front office you know those are those are conversations we 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 constantly have about our players and um and we'll continue to do so but i don't i don't think this is a situation where we're planning on skipping anything right now is there a way like just generally with pitching that you think generally works better to push through something like this is it do guys usually able to pitch through it once you hit this yeah a lot of times guys guys are and they're you know they pit, pitch through a little fatigue pit, pitch through a little dead period or a time when they're struggling a little bit and they kind of grind their way through it you know with with Seve and really with all our pitchers we've picked spots where we've tried to give them an extra day slot in a guy you know to give them that sixth day or sometimes that seventh day so um i feel like we've done a fair sh share of that this year and um we'll, we'll have to continue to um kind of work through ways and and get to the bottom of and get him righted because again he's so important to us uh, billy and kenny yeah can you just uh describe what's uh sabathia's condition and just just his knee you know his knee's always you know the biggest concern with cc and you know when <clears throat> you know he he kind of had to grind through that last start as well as he did pitch with it but he kind of came to us and was like you know it was it was barking pretty pretty well so we decided um you know best by uh dl on him now maybe only means he misses one start and we kind of maintain that and, and um you know the swelling wasn't very bad which is a good sign um so hope we we do believe it's probably just one one turn through um and hopefully something that benefits him uh down the stretch kenny aaron who will take cc's turn on friday um 
We'll, we'll talk about that some more. I would say it's it'll likely be uh, a Sessa, and he'll he'll probably be inserted in the middle of the week. Anyone else up against the wall? Um, just just as, as far as uh, the next three days, you don't have anybody announced as starters. Do you know who you're going to be throwing against the Rays? Uh, we'll we'll get that. We'll, we'll try and get that announced by tonight. Well, I just want to make sure a couple of things and that we're lined up how, how we think it's going. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah.